Hey guys, hey. Um, we're back. We're on our baby moon right now and we decided to do a little update for you guys because we yeah. finally have had a minute to like sit down and figured why not right now. Yeah. Right? Yeah. A lot has changed. A lot, yeah. I mean, it's ongoing change. I feel like it will be ongoing change probably for the foreseeable future now. Yep, yep, yep. I think life was always like that though. <laughs> yeah, um, but we, this, this is our last week in our second trimester. Um, and then look, look at the bump. Woo! Baby boy. Baby boy. He, oh, let me see. He's kicking now. Um, and Blake's felt a few of them. Yeah. Or a lot so, of them, actually. Jamie's been, you know, feeling it for a long time. And then I, there was like times maybe where I was like, ah, oh, maybe I feel it. Maybe I don't. But now he's like, actually like, it's like, boom. Yeah. Like, you can, like, he like kicked your hand that one morning. Really yeah. Hard. Like really hard. Yeah. So. He's super active in the morning, um, just like his dad. So that's going to be fun <laughs> for me. Um, we're both morning people, but yeah, like in the morning he goes crazy and like wakes me up in my stomach. So Blake will run over and lay there and like feel it, which is super cool. Like, yeah. like a cool moment for us for sure. Um, but yeah, I guess um, next week is our third trimester. So, and we were kind of, I was like talking to Jamie, it's like, I'll never experience that. And it's, so it's like such an interesting yeah. thing to like, cause like, I'm never going to have a baby inside of me. So I'm never going to no. feel that. So I'm like, but it's cool to like, kind of get to feel it. From, from the outside, outside. Yeah. yeah yeah and it's like half feels like gas and like <laughs> your stomach hurts it's weird and then i'm like oh okay no my stomach isn't okay, so like i have I yeah have so you kind of experience that a lot um ibs we um but yeah uh besides that we just wanted to kind of update you guys on our relationship we've definitely like a lot of stuff has changed um some good some different uh, some stuff we didn't expect so we thought we would kind of like chat about that and see you know a lot of people I didn't I guess I never thought about getting pregnant and our relationship changing I just kind of like oh your life changes but like your relationship goes through a lot before and probably during and after so yeah. um, just wanted to share like our thoughts on all of that and kind of how we're navigating it and yeah I mean everything. we touched on it previously about like mourning the relationship and mm -hmm. I feel like I still kind of like go through that yeah a lot because it's just like a lot of emotions, you know, you're like, you're not only just like your life is going to like drastically change, um, but the relationship as well, you know, like we're never going to have this, these moments that we have right now or that not we did Not never, have. just not as much. Well, it'll be different though. Yeah. There will always be someone else to think about. Whereas yeah. like before we just, it was just the two of us and, and we just thought about ourselves. Yeah, but, you know, yeah. but we like... It was like every day, it's just like, oh, what are we doing today? And now it's like going to be so different. I mean, obviously we don't know for sure, but it's going to be just different in yeah. general. Um, some of Super this... exciting as well. And yeah. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm mm -hmm. getting more and more. We're both getting more excited and more worried the closer <laughs> it gets because we're like, yay. Oh, my God. There's going to be a baby here. Like, that's just it's like. You go through such like a wave every day. I feel like you're like, yeah. oh, this is fun. This is the last time I'm gonna do this by myself. Like you kind or, of do that, like, and then you see like a like a video, and it's like, um, what I you know what I thought was like gonna be parenting, and then like what it is, and yeah. it's just like a destructive. It kind like, of like yeah it makes you realize oh that's coming for me yeah <laughs> great and we'll like and so one of the things we've definitely been doing is really talking about stuff that we're thinking about going through personally or like stuff we're worried about or whatever so yeah like well, we'll and see. like how, how we want to raise a kid and like kind of like yeah morals and and things that we want to like instill in him and and yeah. just which is know. something we talked about before we got married too is like how we wanted to raise our kids and make sure we were on the same page so it's definitely like changed a little bit obviously since like the years have gone by and like, we've changed a lot as people but we've definitely like agree on a lot of things on how we want to raise a baby well, obviously to, to you an know. extent i guess we kind of like see it with how we like treat the cats because mm. you know that is like kind of raising something raising you know, something yeah how we so, punish how we yeah like discipline like reward, and, yeah. and all that kind of stuff and the caring and stuff so it's just like a much higher stake yeah you know? <laughs> obviously but it, yeah. you know i kind of we kind of saw a little bit of how we would be as parents yeah um and, and, like, and we were on the same page, which I think yeah. is like a massive thing. Well, and we also have like the difference of how Blake grew up and then how I grew up and then different countries, different cultures, like yeah. a lot of things that maybe, you know, he didn't grow up where I grew up and same. So it's not going to be the same, like how, oh, well, we did this when I grew up or we learned this in school. It's going to be so different. I know. So. Well, I mean, and I'm going to like, it's going to be such a change for me because 
you know, the schooling yeah. system and, and everything so different yeah. in America. So that'll be like an interesting. Um, we'll have to relearn math and everything. It's going to be fun. <laughs> but it'll be cool. I'll get, I'll get to like learn Spanish when they, when he learns Spanish, mm -hmm. you know, that, that's always something that I've like wanted to kind of oh, do. Cause yeah. like, what'd you learn? German? Yeah, G Japanese and then German. Yeah, so different than America. So it's it's going to be interesting to like kind of watch how both of us navigate all of that. But some of the stuff we've been kind of like what I was saying is we like talk about a lot of things of like, hey, I'm feeling like this today. I'm kind of worried about this. Like when the baby gets here, I'm worried about this when he goes to college. Like we're talking about all that stuff now because instead of keeping it in and then I'm just constantly like worrying about stuff and he's worrying about it too, but I didn't know. And then we talk about it and he's like, oh yeah, I was thinking about that earlier. Cause you know, I feel like now that we're trying to talk about all that stuff because it's a reality coming very, very fast for us. So. I mean, I think also like one thing I've, I really have tried to do the older I'm getting is like, kind of just like being comfortable, like thinking and, and talking about re the really hard, difficult mm. subjects, you know, like, and I've kind of, tried to extend that to my family as well like my sister and my parents and like really have those conversations and like talk to them about like you know how they were when when they had a kid and like how their yeah. relationship changed and all that kind of stuff just to kind of get a better understanding of like how things are going to be yeah when you realize you're about to become a parent you start questioning or like wanting to know why your parents did certain things because like you know, when you're younger, you're like, oh, you were mean. But now I'm like, like my parents were pretty hard on me as like the older uh, child and, you know, were really, really tough on me, which I hated. And now I realize like why they did it. I don't agree with everything, which is totally fine when you're like different generations, all those things. But I'm realizing now, oh, they like my dad, like the other day, I was like the stove didn't work here. And I like lit a match and just knew how to like light it. And I'm like, man, that's actually really cool. My dad like made me do that. But you know, like just stuff like that where you don't realize like oh i'm actually really glad my parents taught me that kind of stuff or were like kind of like rough on me and like and then you know there's the other aspect of oh like my mom was like super nice or whatever and you just kind of like start thinking about all the things your parents did and you're like do i want to do that why did they do that like you start kind of going through all that and you never really think about that until it's like your turn and then you're like yeah. oh I should probably like analyze why my parents did all this stuff. So we're kind of going through that too together. And like, did your mom do that? Did your dad do that? Well, mine didn't. I wonder why we just kind yeah. of, I feel like it's all we talk about these days, <laughs> is like all of that kind of stuff. So yeah, we've just been kind of trying to keep a really open dialogue as far as stuff we want to do, stuff we don't want to do. And we pretty much agree on most of it. I think the only difference is, you know, kids drinking at 18 versus 21 and stuff like that's different like where we both grew up so i don't know we'll deal well, I mean, with that the, later kind and of the, thing and the world's like so different now than yeah. when we grew up too and I, I talked about that with my parents a little bit too you know i really loved uh when i was a kid that like every day i'd just like i'd go out and play with my friends and i'd spend like the whole afternoon night like just out playing yeah and i just feel like that might be like lost a little bit now mm -hmm. in this world. I, mean, I used to go like, to a ranch every weekend and ride motorcycles and be crazy. So yeah, it's just, it's going to be different. Yeah. Cause, well, cause now that, you know, there's so many screens now, like that sort of stuff. And, and it's not as safe as, but I mean, depends maybe, where I guess, but yeah. Yeah. yeah I and now we live in LA. So we're just, yeah, I don't know. We're trying to kind of navigate all of that and prepare mentally for like being on the same page about stuff so that maybe like when that time comes, we've already, Kind of discussed it and kind of come to a conclusion we'll have to pivot as like things change obviously yeah um but yeah that's kind of some stuff that we've been working through dealing with yeah i don't know well and your nipple piercing you have to take uh, that out so i finally this is like tmi but everybody basically knows that i like i have piercings like all over and long story short i have like a inverted nipple so you'll have to google that it looks really weird so i got my nipple pierced years ago and it was one of those things that i just i knew i had to take it out one day when i got pregnant and i i'm, I'm almost at month seven and i'm like i was holding on to it it was not looking pretty and she, i finally had to but she had gotten it years ago and then someone someone forced me to take it out like a that's another you know, just story. like a controlling yeah horrible person but then just before we met at no Coachella, the day we met i got it you that had, morning at a, was it at one of the parties at a thing no or was i it went to a tattoo that? shop okay. and got it done i got it re-pierced as like a i'm not letting anyone like 
I hate men. I'm going to like do whatever I want with my body. Like never let anybody tell you what to do with your body. And that was kind of like a for me thing. Yeah, it was like endearing and you felt you yeah. know, empowered by that because this is, that was something that you like you like wanted to do for well, you. Well, and I did so. it for as a confidence thing, like an yeah, insecurity exactly. thing, not to like portray something else, which is fine if you do that too. Like I don't judge anybody, but I just, I purely did it for like cosmetic insecurity reasons and so yeah and I, it's not like I like constantly broadcast it or anything it was just one of those things I did so yeah having to take it out was like I cried what was it yeah. yesterday or day before yeah because I finally was like I actually have like colostrum coming through I looked, looked it up I'm supposed to save it apparently <laughs> um but yeah so I have like colostrum coming through a little bit which is kind of normal at this rate and I just I knew that I needed to take it out because I don't want, you know, if I leave it in and the baby's like breastfeeding, like that can get infected. It's always infected. It's one of like the most not sanitary piercings. Like if you want it for fun reasons, it's like saliva can't be near it. It's just kind of like a mess. And so I'm always like, nope, don't touch that one. Um, so yeah, I knew I needed to take it out and I know I can get it re-pierced again, but honestly getting it pierced a second time was really painful because they have to go through all the scar tissue. Ugh, just, it makes like a crunching noise. It's like a whole thing. So I might get it redone one day. I don't know, but it was definitely like the last phase of something I knew I needed to give up, <laughs> not for me. And um, yeah, it was hard and I cried for a while and it's just kind of like, like I know I need to give up stuff. I'm gonna get upset again. Oh, it's okay. I know. It's all right. I know. I know. It's a lot. It's a lot of change, and you know, Jamie's body's changing a lot, and that's already hard enough as it is. And then yeah. these other things that like help, like <laughs> you know, keep you feeling good about yourself. It's yeah. just yeah. It's, it's just hard. one of those things that you know. I knew it was coming. And I was putting it off for way too long, but you know, like belly button piercing, I don't care to take out other stuff. It's just, that was like the one. And it's kind of a silly thing, but you already feel like you're giving oh, up. I didn't think it's silly at all. You know, I'm proud of you for doing that. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just like your body's already taking a lot, like all these things you're kind of giving up without any say in it. And so it's just kind of the last I thing. mean, and, you're, and you, we're in an industry where like your body and your looks was like, you right. know, what we, basically made, made money, money. Off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was like our whole job so that was even like a really difficult thing at the start like yeah watching you know, my every, body change and, yeah, and unable, seeing it in photos unable to model and yeah or like to the capacity that you were before and stuff was really difficult for you and you yeah. know we had to shift our entire workload because like that that was like our biggest money maker was like doing modeling the and lookbooks e-com and and yeah lookbooks and stuff yeah. so then that's why i really like hunkered down and we we luckily we got into this like viral content creation and doing that stuff through Facebook and other other things so I really kind of like took over that and have like been putting my you know my all into that and you know I used we used to have like so much more free time and and just kind <laughs> of you know, less stress and now I feel like I'm just you know I wake up and I'm just like busy like all day kind of like yeah putting so much into this but it's all to try and you know get to a place where like hopefully we won't have to do as much and but i miss modeling like i do i i didn't i think i think i got to a point where it's been 10 years and i was like yeah you know i think i'm okay if like you know when i get pregnant i'll just be done with modeling and i remember our last shoot i like had a full like existential crisis of <laughs> like wait i'm not gonna be shooting like all this stuff every day like it's not about me it's like not about you know creating art and all this stuff like obviously we still shoot and stuff and it's like been a passion of mine which is why we like made it our job but it's like hard to shift in like i think a lot of influencers or models at least can like understand that once you get pregnant it's not like oh all these maternity brands just come flying in like they use a fake belly they don't use actual pro pregnant people which is like really upsetting but i get it um but yeah so it's kind of like one of those things where you just think like I'm so used to, we're shooting every day, every week, like tons of stuff, products coming in, we're steaming it, we're sending it back. Like it's just really busy. And then we went from that to like, whoosh, and I'm just like sitting around, like, what am I doing? And I'm just, I kind of had to like find myself again. And we do a lot of work together, but now it's kind of more based on Blake having to do a lot of the stuff. And I'm so not used to like, <laughs> he's like just relax and I'm like why why would I do like no and it's like it's weird and it's like a definite shift in kind of our relationship and like you know, yeah. Blake's up at 4 a.m editing and testing stuff and like 
you know, doing all this stuff and I'm like sleeping in, like, it's just like, so not how like we've operated. Um, but I'm trying to be, not that I didn't do anything before, but I just, no, we I woke just, up together. We'd like have a whole routine in the morning. We'd like do like, I just had different, yeah, different responsibilities. responsibilities yeah. yeah. And it's just like, it's been cool to watch him kind of, you know, shift into more of taking the lead and me not being in the lead and it's very uncomfortable for me <laughs> but i'm learning but it's like a good thing because everybody I think, everybody who know who follows along probably knows that jamie's i'm just to like, be in control i love so. to be in control i <laughs> so love to have a, our day planned out i've like got it down to the hour i've planned everything and now it's like we what are we doing like bleh. and so it's teaching me to like go with the flow more because you do have to do that with a baby so i think i know all these things are happening for a reason to make me a more chill person <laughs> and like you know learn trying. That, yeah i'm trying <laughs> and like oh if we don't leave on time which is like a huge thing for me i have to leave on time but like one minute will send me into a rage so but like babies don't leave on time so i'm just having to kind of learn a lot of that stuff yeah babies do not stick to a schedule especially oh my if it's gosh it's gonna <laughs> drive me crazy but yeah, so we've just been kind of shifting our relationship. We cook a lot at home now, which if you guys know, we used to eat Chipotle like every day. And Blake makes food for us um, almost every day. Yeah. Um, which is like, I mean, we've been dating for how long? We're finally cooking at home. It's so weird. I mean, we used to cook eggs all the time, but that was like just a But weird. not like every meal. Like no, we haven't eaten out hardly like ever besides trips. So. But I've... I've it's funny because I've actually, I actually really enjoy it. Like he I, like sings and like does. It's the weirdest thing. I just I've really seen enjoy guy so happy. cooking. So it's just yeah, it was yeah. really weird. I did not expect that, but I enjoy mm -hmm. it, and that's been that's been like a fun change and yeah. I kind of, I feel like I'm. I look forward to like cooking for like a family, you know? Like, yeah, it'll be really cool. We eat a lot of the same stuff now. Um, yeah, it's just been like. A lot of little things that I guess we didn't realize are actually really like now, like how we cook and we like sit down and eat together. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to kind of create habits like that where we sit at the table and we eat together. Cause with a baby, like we really want to do that. Like my family never really all ate together. And so that's like something that's really important to me. Like at least one meal a day where we sit down and just talk, no phones. And we that's what we start, started to do. We don't sit on the couch, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we just kind of had like a lot of little changes that I think will make big changes later and you know maybe things will shift back when the baby comes and I'll start modeling again or maybe we'll have both and we'll be really busy like we don't yeah, I mean, really know I think hopefully like we'll have both yeah. um and then we'll have it down like a lot better where like we're just like super fast to getting everything done yeah and I mean yeah it's kind of I mean, we'll really see what happens yeah. like who knows what's gonna happen maybe but... i'll love not modeling and just being a housewifey <laughs> who knows no i will not i'll hate that so much um but yeah we've just been kind of rolling with the punches a little bit um we've had a lot of rough life events happen too like privately um that we were dealing with as well and i don't know why but i feel like the universe is giving us all the things that can go wrong before the baby comes just to like test us. And then maybe when the baby comes, it'll be like the most easy, breezy, beautiful year ever. And we'll have no problems. Fingers crossed. That would be great. <laughs> no wood. Yeah, like our car, our second car got hit on the side of the road when it was parked, It to someone totaled, totaled it. it. Yeah. We weren't even in it, which is fine. And I mean, that's the, the positive and, that, and all of that. And that's but, sad because that was the first car we got together. Yeah, and it's the, like and, paid off. And we, like, you know, when we got that, it was like such a an accomplishment for us. We, you know, we'd, I'd never had a Mercedes. I never bought a car. So yeah, yes. all, my, all my cars previously were like second hand. This was like yeah. the first like, you know, new car ever. And it was a Mercedes and we were just like, you know, it was like such an accomplishment and it's And it's not the end to, of the world. Like luckily everybody has insurance who's in the car accident, but it's just like kind of one of those things where you're like, oh, we, we almost, dealt with enough. I know we almost feel like maybe it could have been a blessing because we're probably not going to be driving that much for Two the cars. next couple yeah. of months, you know? So like just having the one car will be fine and maybe- Maybe it'll know, make our life easier. Like yeah. we're trying to, things keep happening and then we're like, what is the positive? Like we're trying <laughs> to remain positive because we like don't have time to be negative and sit yeah. around and cry about it, which is gonna be the same with the baby. So I feel like we're getting little life lessons that we didn't ask for, but we're dealing with them and like, you know, like I'm not breaking down and crying when that happened. You were like, don't cry. And I was like, you're like, it's not the end of the world. And I'm like, I'm just gonna laugh about this. Cause like crying's not gonna make it better. Like, what do I do? You know, yeah. you just have to kind of, change it's not all about poor me anymore and it's just like i guess this is life this is being an adult <laughs> like i guess we gotta deal with it so yeah. we've just had a lot of like 
things like that happen um, on the sidelines on top of everything else. Besides that, I've been, I pretty much have all the baby stuff done. Yeah. A couple things we need left, but. Yeah, Jamie's so, been so good about that. She's, you know, just gotten everything like the clothes, all the diapers. Yeah. Kind of like. Wipes, like. All the, the crib. Know, nursing chairs, cribs. Yeah. Stroller, everything kind of sorted. It's, it's really yeah. good. Yeah, and Blake I, will come up to him and be like, hey, one of my friends said like, we should get this. And I'm like, we already have it. And he's like, oh. Because well, I've just like been going. I'm just kind of like oblivious a little bit, but <laughs> I, you know, it's good because like I'm seeing like all the stuff she's getting in, like why we why we need certain things, what we yeah. need, where everything goes to make it you know streamlined and, and easy. Yeah, so I kind of filled my time since he's busy now with like getting all the baby stuff prepared instead of waiting till the last minute. I'm just like getting back stock of diapers and wipes, and I'm like, hey babe, here's where all the diapers are. Here's where the back stock is, so that. You know, he knows where everything is, but like, this is why we need this. And just kind of buying stuff and then showing him like how we use it and like what it's used for and trying to just get like stuff that's really necessary for the baby, for me, for you. And I have to get diapers, I think eventually, like, oh, for me, <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be my diaper guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've just been kind of- I know it's like, but it's like, it's funny because we're like, oh yeah, you know, we feel, ready we think we've got everything but i feel like you're probably never truly ready and no. it's gonna it's gonna be such a and i'm trying not change. to over buy a bunch of stuff too like oh buy this thing everyone's saying you don't need half of that stuff so i'm basically getting the necessities and maybe a few things that i just feel like we'll need yeah but not like going too crazy because i also am someone who really hates wasting stuff so trying to just get stuff that's necessary and the worst case scenario when the baby comes we can order things that like we need and we'll just have to survive uh, in the meantime <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, besides that, we're kind of just figuring everything out as it goes. Um, the really hard thing is, is Blake's family isn't here and they're in a different time zone. So we try to ask them a lot of questions. Um, I don't speak to my parents, so I call my grandmas a lot um, and ask I mean, them. We're, we're super close with Nick and we... And my brother, yeah. And uh, my friends are all super helpful and we've just been kind of... Yeah, big shout on. out to Jess. Yeah, <laughs> thanks Jess for all. She's a nanny full time and it's been her like whole life. So she's definitely been helping me with everything. Yeah. She's like my mom basically. Um, but yeah, we've just been, you know, doing the best we can with all the resources we have. Luckily, like having a baby these days, you almost have too many options for everything. So it's like making sure you're just getting the necessities. Um, and yeah, we've just been kind of figuring that out. I'm trying mm -hmm. to work in the meantime. Um, I have a really hard time relaxing, so I'm still trying to keep myself super busy. I feel like it's made the time go by really fast. Like yeah. I can't believe and we're it, already at seven months. And I think our, our big thing is like, right, you know, maybe the month or two months before like baby comes, so pretty soon. Yeah, like now. <laughs> we're gonna like try and build up as much content as we can so that yeah. like the first couple of months, like we'll have everything already ready to go and we won't, we won't have to worry about that. So then we can just kind of enjoy him and and just like just, you know get into our our rhythm and our routine and everything yeah and have all the work already done for you know like hopefully stacked up for yeah like we're two like months banking plus. up content to like yeah. get us through and getting in good rhythms now of like oh let's just film this today let's shoot this today and then we'll be good like getting ahead of stuff is kind of like mm -hmm. our mission now until he gets here um, which is cool that we're able to do that and like we can bank up stuff and then chill for like the first couple of months when he's here um, cause yeah, I don't really plan on doing a maternity leave. I've already nested the whole house, so I don't really have anything to do. Um, I mean, we kind of have a job where like we can just continuously work, like mm -hmm. it, you know. Yeah, it's a blessing and a curse. It, it, it'll it'll be different, obviously, but yeah. but we do have the ability to just you know keep working and yeah. like. And I think I'll go crazy if I don't work. I think I'll lose my identity because like I've literally worked my entire life on just stuff that I love. So I can't imagine just like sitting around, but obviously we don't know what's going to happen in the future, but we're trying to prepare like as best we can, Yeah. which I think every parent tries to do. Um, but I, th have... I think one thing I kind of want to put out there and, and, and see oh gosh, and ask is just, <laughs> this is kind of like one thing I, I try to almost ask a lot of people, um, who have had kids or kind of like gone through that is like, you know, like what, what are kind of your tips or what's something that you just like wish you had known before or, yeah. or something just for like the first few months, something that, you know, might be helpful. So if you guys have any tips or yes. any information, 
in the comments let us know let us know because <laughs> we're first-time parents and none of our friends really well some of Blake's friends have kids back home but like here I only have like one friend with a baby so definitely we're kind of going into this to this a little blind um but we do have like obviously our whole community like people send me tips all the time on instagram yeah. i'm so thankful for that because a lot i'm like screenshotting screenshotting <laughs> putting them into a folder of like what to get what to do um so definitely is super helpful but yeah any tips on like relationship baby having a boy um definitely we've seen so many videos now of like boys on the roof and they're like <laughs> pulling things down and we're like oh my gosh this is what our child's gonna be like because we were both crazy kids like i was jumping motorcycles yeah. and crashing and like catching snakes and he was like i don't even want to know what you were probably doing as a kid crazy so we're Always a little bit worried trouble for sure yeah he's either gonna be like the sweetest quietest kid or, or like he'll the be craziest he'll be both. sweet i think he's gonna be both yeah i think he'll be like hopefully gentle and sweet and caring like like it, i am and then mm -hmm. but like but, maybe a little crazy but adventurous yeah. yeah so curious adventurous <laughs> and, yeah yeah I, th I do feel like our bangle benji has prepared us a little <laughs> bit for like a toddler because benji's just like tearing apart our house 24 7 and it's like hilarious like we're just like uh there's something's crashing we're just gonna he's check very, on it later he's very two moods he's a, either super cuddly and cute and he'll be upside down in your life and just yeah. letting you like pet him and stuff or he's he's running upstairs, Ugh. downstairs, jumping up in the window, jumping across screaming, you, yelling, screaming, yeah. So ripping apart cardboard, uh, <laughs> ripping apart everything if he can, you know, jumping like on top mess, of the fridge, messing with all the other cats, like yeah. <laughs> so it'll be really interesting. Energy. Yeah, I feel like we've gotten a little taste of toddler life from him. Not that it's the same, but he's prepared us a little bit of like, if it's too quiet, you're worried. If it's too loud, you're a little worried. But like. <laughs> maybe it'll be fine so yeah. i mean and we're also so, i'm so excited to see what the how the cats are with, with yeah him and, and i'm nervous but i think it'll be good i'm, I'm not at all i'm just like yeah. so excited to see yeah hopefully i mean they all like love being near my belly so hopefully they like love this baby and are just like so good. oh my god the minute i see the baby cuddling <laughs> with the cat i think i'm gonna like lose it yeah um but yeah but I guess, I mean, that's all we really wanted to talk about, right? Yeah. yeah just for, a little now. I'm sure relationship back, work but... update, yeah. life update. Um, yeah. And third trimester, I'm going to get huge. <laughs> this baby's already, what, a week, week and a half-ish in certain areas bigger than normal babies, which doesn't surprise me. Um, but it's going to be... <laughs> really fun for me <laughs> what, what kind of i'm i'm thinking he's going to be taller than me i think like six that's nine. what we would hope like six nine yeah six ten and my whole family is very muscly and very like built and then his like he's just a giant so imagine if we like a lebron baby but i mean we're both super athletic we're yeah. you know picked up it could pick up any sport and be good at it so i'm hoping it like Sorry, I'm hoping he's the same. <laughs> it kills me inside to not know what he's gonna be like or like look like. Like I want to know what he looks like so bad. It's killing me. I know, but that, that's like part of the fun. Oh, it's not. <laughs> I hate surprises. I just want to know now. But anyways, okay, that's yeah. another update. Um, we're gonna go enjoy the rest of our baby moon. We have a YouTube coming of our whole trip. The Wi-Fi is really bad here, so we are just gonna vlog the whole thing, and that's gonna be coming with all the places we've stayed. We've um, we came here in 2017 so yeah. we'll work back here again we love it here it's so beautiful um but yeah that's our yeah, update hopefully we'll come back here one day with, with chase <gasps> oh my gosh and matching <laughs> bathing suits oh my gosh but yeah so we'll see you guys next time like and subscribe and that's it jamie bleak out <laughs> <laughs>